to create the dice roller application let's create a new path on file and oh, let's select path on project new file path on file and let's name it something like dice and in here first of all we need to create our application main window so let's from tkenta import everything and then we need to create a dictionary of the dice symbols so you saw that we had dice symbols like five four etc so they are stored in unicode characters and i have a file open in here so in the resources i have a dice unicode values and you can see these are the unicode values for the dices so let's use this inside of a dictionary to we can use them as a label so let's copy them and let's close that side by side and in here let's create a die and die is short for a dictionary and then we have our dictionary and let's paste in them so let's add in commas in here and let's also create them into strings so now let's create them into strings and now as you can see we have a die dictionary which has the symbols for our dices that is zero which means just a simple dice and then we have one two three four five and six symbols so you can find these symbols or chart in the resources so you can check there and now that i mention it that these symbols are unicode characters and they are not any images they are unicode characters so keep that in mind they are not images they are unicode characters and now let's create our application window so dk class now let's create a label that at the starting we get this zero dice symbol that is your starting symbol of our dice so let's create that that is let's say dice and then a label object and in here it will be in our application and the text to display will be our die and then the zeroth element and now you can see that we extracted the zero symbol using our die and zero index and similarly we can create a random function and then we can just randomly select from one to six to roll our dice and now let's initialize its font to something and these are unicode characters as mentioned up earlier so any font you choose it will not affect but we are going to change its size so let's just select times for now you can choose any other font and then let's pass in something let's say 100 to view it clearly and then also change the foreground of the symbol to let's say white now let's pack it into our application using the grid system now let's use the row as the first the column as first as well and that's equals and then let's add some paddings to it that will be padding on the x-axis let's say something like 25 and then padding on the y-axis just five and then let's define a function to roll our dice and in there we will randomly pick from this one to six and then we will slice it out using this dice die dictionary so let's do that in here let's define a roll function roll and then we can create a label or first of all let's import or from or random import randint so now you can say that why did i import it randint inside of this function well when you're creating application you need to short the import functions outside of your application so let's say we want this tkinter objects in this whole application but we don't need this random functions inside of our application so let's limit that to this function so let's use that first of all we need to find or randomly pick a element from one to six for that let's store that into ai variable and then let's call it randint and pass from one to six then we will use this as an index to slice out the symbols from the die dictionary we created 
above and then let's create a variable label that's capital that's capital and then let's initialize inside of our application and the text to display will be our die dictionary and the index will be the randomly picked element from 1 to 6 so now we can also configure the font and foreground same as our dice that will be just shown when you just open the application and it will be it will last only for the first time so let's copy this and paste in here and same for our dice grid so let's take them also copy that and add the same for our message and just change this to message and then let's add a width of 2 to our randomly picked choices because this element is a bit larger or you can say more in width than these symbols so it will overlap if we do that so let's leave the width for now we will fix that when we encounter the error so let's move on to defining a button so create a role button button class initialize that inside of our application the text to display will be role and oh that's equal sign then the command to follow up will be the role function we defined in here so let's do that command roll the dice and then let's pack it into our view so let's use the grid system and in here don't pass any element or don't specify the row and column well we can do that row as zero that is one and the column as one as well and let's just don't define the paddings it will just place it below our dice label so let's call the main loop and finish our application so we have pretty much created a dice roller application within just 30 lines of code or that's not even that much it's just we have this die in here which has a symbol that's why it's covering this much lines you can say we have created a dice roller application in some 20 lines so let's tap that and in here you can see that we have these elements the symbols then we created a dice label which is the first starting dice symbol then we define a roll function to roll where we have random function to choose a random number from 1 to 6 and then we use that index to extract the symbol from our die dictionary and then just display it as a label where we have configured the color foreground of the color as white and the font as just a system font and the size as 100 to be a bit larger and then we use the grid function to place it inside of our application then we have created a roll button to just roll our dice so let's run our program so hit shift 2 and you can see we have tk oh that's column 2 so let's change this to 0 run again and now you can see we have tk so let's rename the title to something let's say app dot title and that as dice so let's run again we have a dice application so hit roll so you can see we have the starting that is the zero symbol and then if we hit roll it is changed and as i mentioned before it is overlapped over the zero element or symbol that's why we need to add the width of two in this randomly picked label so let's add the width as two so two characters width so it will just cover up that beneath it so let's run it again we have our dice roller roll we have our five in here roll again we have two now roll again we have two again we have four now roll again we get five so we have created a dice roller in just few minutes using at least 20 lines of code and we have also a very interactive dice roller we can roll we have the symbol we can roll again roll again so that's it for the first application using Python GUI and we just created a really really easy simple and intuitive dice roller application.